Welcome to Foxhole Radio Sirius XM 98 uh, Comedy Corner. I'm your host for today, Maranzio Vance. Uh, if you don't know who I am, I don't have time to list all my three credits that I have. Uh, you can catch me out on catch me on uh, June first. Comedy Central have a half hour comedy special coming out called The Angry Smiler because I don't smile at all. Haven't smiled since '94. I am joined today by a good friend of mine. Please introduce yourself, lady. My name is Kenya Parham. And tell them your talents. Oh my goodness! Uh, political analyst, creative director, uh, spoken word poet. All that. Don't want to hear about the spoken word shit. I just brought you on here for political. Well, I'm a I'm a political guru. All right, you know. political guru knows everything about politics <laughs> inside and out. Passing off to my man, AC. Tell him who you are. I'm AC, uh, comedian, writer, director. Have uh, we seen anything you have done? Uh, yeah, you probably have seen some stuff I've done before. on YouTube uh, or television. On um, on um, <clears throat> having trouble, having trouble. Yeah. So, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> joined by AC, uh, funny guy out of Detroit. One of the the uh, few comics out of Detroit that's funny. Now I'll say it in a bad it's way, stupid. but it's just you know it's just certain people that's funny, certain people that's not. But we're gonna get right into it. Uh, we're gonna have uh, our first topic is gonna be basketball wise the movie that's that's proposed to be coming out. Basketball wise the show itself, reality TV. And all that other sucker shit. Uh, when we get back, call in 855-369-9898. That number again is 855-369-9898. Foxhole Radio Comedy Corner. Peace. <laughs> Welcome back to Foxhole Radio Comedy Corner. I'm your host for this week, Maranzio Vance. Uh, the call in number is 855-369-9898. Please call in. We'd like to hear from the people out there in the world. I'm joined by Kenya and AC. Uh, wow. I, brought, I brought Kenya on to be the voice of reason and political uh, analysis. She knows everything there is about politics. Smart, funny, black woman, and we need that. AC, very clever, funny guy from Detroit. We're gonna jump right into it. You just heard uh, John Legend and uh, Andre 3000 Greenlight off his Evolver album. Uh, in news, Andre 3000 is going to play Jimi Hendrix in the movie. Oh, that's gonna be that's hot. gonna be really good. I like Andre 3000. That's gonna great, be great fucking he actor. Is extremely he's one of those few actors. He's one of those few rappers because I'm I'm completely against rappers mm. becoming fucking actors. It's like, bitch, you started off rapping, rap fucker. Right, you stick okay? to rapping. Damn stick it. to rapping. I ain't trying to fucking rap. That's what I'm saying. Huh? I ain't got no studio time. Nah, we don't got time for that. I ain't got time to be writing rhymes, nigga. Mm-hmm. He's good though, but he's getting me silent about it. You know, like he's just he's just talented. He's a good guy. He's like, well, I mean, I feel that he was completely mind fucked by Erica Badu. But what guy who ain't had some though? who ain't had some Badu pussy and went <laughs> who crazy? Wasn't though? I, I, that's why I won't fuck her. You I'm, won't. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you won't fuck her because you don't, you want to keep your mind. I'm gonna keep my mind because I know her pussy gonna drive me crazy. Badu? Now you know what the funny part about Badu? Badu is the the female equivalent of Prince, because you know any chick that's ever fucked with Prince, they gone. That bitch uh, walking around in the daytime yeah. with a flashlight, <laughs> looking for reasons. But did you see Badu's ass when she took her clothes yep. off? Yep. Oh my god. That anytime, seat, anytime I think about it, I rub my dick against my TV screen. Oh, I did. A, you did? I did. That's I all right. That's she all right. Something special. That's all right. That, that I know she had. A, I know she had an ass under all that. She wonderful shit. ass. Wonderful. Badu ass. Woo. So, with that being said. Segwaying off of Badu's ass because you can bounce off that onto oh something else because that's how juicy it is. It would make me do spoken word if I saw it. Hello, that. in Jesus' name. Uh, we're going to jump right into it. Our first topic, we're going to talk about uh, basketball wives. Basketball wives. Wives, they have proposed a movie. <laughs> the wives have the w- Well, <laughs> they <laughs> proposed because it's funny as you would say proposed to do a movie to Punishment. for a show for bitches that ain't married. Right. They're not married. This is sickening. This no. is, they sick. call basketball wives. Nobody on the show... It's really fun. You, it should call basketball jump offs, but it shouldn't, it should be, be basketball called. wives, girlfriends, and and husbands. Yes, right. people. What I are fu- they going to talk about though? Basketball hoes with hope. That's what it's called. Hoes with hope. Hoes with hope. Hoes. Okay. That hoop for All hope. Right. <laughs> All right. Because ain't nobody right. running through them. Hooping hoes for hope. Okay. Exactly. That's that's I, what his name. I just what what are they gonna? <laughs> How can you do a whole movie about some shit that shouldn't exist? Dog. I hate looking at the show. Only reason I watch it because my girl is coming home and, and we watch it together. You know what I'm saying? You, you, it's not really watching it together. She pretty much just say we're going to watch basketball wise. She pretty much take over the TV. Because she <clears throat> paid the bill. Right. So all, yeah. all you learn on basketball wise is conflict, conflict resolution. That's the only thing. It's not the it's, Every episode is the same. It's Bitch throw a wine bottle or a glass conflict. of somebody, pull somebody's hair. Listen, if you watch basketball wise, what you are saying to the world and the universe and God who created you is that I don't give a fuck about my time. I need to waste it mm-hmm. by watching bitches. 
who mm. just want attention. You remember a time where hoes did not get attention? That was a beautiful time. What? You remember a time where your jump off was just a bitch that was in another city that you put, put some DNA in and walked away? And on Christmas and Thanksgiving, that bitch was by herself. By herself. Now. Because you were with your real family. Now she on Twitter talking about, oh, this nigga. Yep. Now or she, she got, got a, a TV voice. show. Yep. That's what. When did hoes get a TV? We get a voice. That's what's wrong with society I hate right now. The society gave bitches voices. Hoes. 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 Now, women, don't get, don't, we talking about hoes. Please call in. If you are a man or a woman who has a hoe in their life that's trying to get attention, please call us in and let us know about the hoes in your life. 855 369 9898. They are not all. Call in. They're not Listen all to me. Hoes, First of all, doing it's for women. Money, he can he can he They're can own up to this. There's women hoes. that I know that live in Chicago. Mm-hmm. Draft night, mm-hmm. draft night. They have That's draft indeed. parties. There are women in this country who have draft parties, and they sit and they watch to find out who got drafted to what team, how old it is, learn his stats. Yep. So when they go meet this nigga, they can, they can talk to him well, and say, "What does that say about the men that wife them up?" Because who? All, all of those well, women on there have had rings. First of all, pussy was made for us not to say no to. So keep it away from us. I don't understand what you're saying right now. What, are you, what does that say about you? You wife it up, putting five million dollar rings on hands of women that you think you don't wife hoes. Hold. You don't wife hoes. Well, we do. So then, what are these women? What Men are these women hoes. who have rings? We like hoes, but we divorces. What are they? Sad part. James Harden is dating Trina. Mm, mm, mm. He ain't got shit else to do. Damn. You got nigga groom your beard. Focus on your beard and that outdated <laughs> ass mohawk on your fucking head. And leave that damn piece of that. She ain't gonna trade. She ain't gonna trade on the tire. Yeah. She dated but Kenya at Martin. Has, at least she. At least she came to the table with something. Well, her ass. More yeah, than she, her, she had some I've been kind her, of collateral. More than some of these her bus hoarding groupies. I want to. Well, I'm gonna date a whore. You better have some whore with intellect. And what makes, An what, intellectual whore. No, you know what? Though a lot of men do. We do. You know what? When I get married, I do want to marry a whore. Right. Now, what I mean by a whore. A whore for you, though. For me. You not a saying? whore. Not someone who's been a whore for everybody. Exactly. I don't want to bone. I don't want to marry this. somebody who everybody can hear. Yeah. I want her to be a whore for me. Every man wants that. Every, Every man, man wants, wants that. a woman that once, once, once we consummate this shit and say, exactly. look, you and me are down for whatever I for the rest understand. of our life. I as soon as we, mm-hmm. As soon as we say, I do, I need you to become a whore. the filthiest Instantly. piece of shit. Disgusting. On, I need you to take it. Oh, my goodness. In every possible body offices. You can make take it up in. shit. That's make, what I'm saying. Make. Okay, listen. So, so. Other people feel the way that you guys feel, though, about basketball. Oh, man. They do. There was a petition. There was a petition. To not make the movie. To not make the movie. 25,000 signatures. 25,000 people felt like, you know what? Enough with this shit. Yeah. Because it's why. First of all, it does a discredit. First of all, the word wives should be petitioning. There should be somebody that that should be Mm -hmm. like, you know what? The word wife has been abused because basketball wives, real housewives of Atlanta, Half these bitches ain't married. The white bitch on Housewives of Atlanta got a mistress. She's a mistress to a nigga. No, not anymore. Actually, she married, she married, a, a she married an NFL player. He put a fat Who wants? Why house. are we script? Why? You can have anybody. Big time. You can have anybody. If you're mm-hmm. an athlete, if you got, first of all, if you got money, you can have anybody. The world has shown that because right. we don't, we respect money and we worship it. Too much. Too much. That's why man can I look respect like money, but I don't worship it. You can't worship money because that's your fall victim to it. Can you really get mad at those women? Ray J kill like- Whitney Houston. <laughs> can you really? Sidebar. I'm laughing, but that hurts a lot <laughs> because I, I really. Can you really be mad at them for figuring out the formula to get those men to, to marry be them, to though? be successful? If that was their if that was their objective, I want to marry a ball player. Now I don't know the mindset of a woman. Yeah, like women. That. I think- but if the, if that was their objective, can you really be mad that they figured out the formula to a T? But if you, you look at the women, if you look at the caliber of women on this show, listen, these are women, not Jennifer, these are less than average okay, looking that's bitches. Not true. Jennifer, Jennifer on the show has a master's degree. That girl, did you see her husband? That look? Perfect and, example. And Jennifer is, is a one, fine woman. She's Jennifer, a nice looking Jennifer woman. Jennifer is educated. Did you see how her husband look? It's a chick on there look like a. Uh, it's a chick that's on Basketball Wise. Look like Lala and Drag. I can't think of the bitch name right oh, now. Oh yeah, it's it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot it's, of it's um, a handsome, lot of handsome women on basketball. Let me line. put this on blast. How about this right here? For Shiny to put that show out, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. For Shiny to put that show out and try to drag Shaq through the mud, right? Because mm-hmm. she tried to drag Shaq through the mud. This part of the show was to 
throw dirt. She's hardly on the show though. She's just eating. But she, you know what she does? She just shows up every now and then. What y'all bitches been doing since I've been off? Exactly. And then come she on. Is the, like, she's the supreme. Oh, she comes but around during the But the whole the whole purpose of that show was to put their men on blast and say, "This is what y'all did to us." Was she or was she not no, married? Because what, half, oh, of the women, what, half of the women on that show are under gag orders right now okay. and can't even talk was about. Was Shani? Was she or was she not married when she met Shaq? Yes, she was. Yes, was she or was she not married yes, when she, she met Shaq? She was married. And when did she not met Shaq. Shaq come and scoop her up and say, "You know what? You can do better, bitch. Come with me. Come with me. I'm gonna fill you up with about five kids. Uh huh. But I'm gonna do my own thing. You knew that going into this. You fucking knew this going. In. When you a hoe, you already know people can't change. Hold on, hold on, change. Hold on, change. Only no. hoe. The only hoe I know that ever changed in this world was Suge Avery, and that was in color purple. Eight five five three six nine nine eight nine eight Foxhole Radio Comedy Corner. Maranzi Advance, Joe Mike Kenya, and AC. We talking about basketball wise. The idea of them actually making a movie out of this. The people that sucked into it. And you know what the bad part about it is? I hate that so many people watch this shit, especially young women watch it, yeah. and they think that is the way of the world. Now they think that's how they supposed to come up. Like right. let me let me get a baller. Cause you have a daughter, right? How's I have daughter? a daughter. My daughter just turned nineteen. My daughter is my daughter is thirteen. Okay, right. And your, you and your mother. I had, I had her at 16. Right. We grew up together. Right. We used to get the same shit for Christmas. <laughs> 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 Me and my Nigga, daughter grew up together. Niggas helping each other with homework. Right. We, oh. had, the, we had the same teachers in high school. Too. <laughs> I was like, why are you fucking up in school? She was like, Miss Brown don't like me. I said, yeah, that bitch didn't like me either. <laughs> Some true shit. We grew up together. Now, when I was growing up, I had the Cosby show. I had Different World to watch. I had Good Times. Well, TV is bad shit. right now. TV ain't shit. TV my daughter, watch, you know what my daughter watch now? The Bad Girls Club. They like shit like they that. Like Bad Girls like Club, uh, MTV got that 16 and pregnant shit. 16 and this pregnant This is what society has evolved to. This is fucked now, up. Now, bring up the topic that we talked about. Okay. Now, this is a, this, this right here is an interesting topic. My daughter's mother called me and she asked me, cause my daughter got a little boyfriend. Right. I hate the son of a bitch. Right. Now, she called me and asked me, should we put our daughter on birth control pills? But she's 19, right? She's 19. It's a choice for her to make though. Now, hold on. Now, hold on. It is. But right. that's still my, I'm a, I'm a father, so that's still my little girl. To me, me too. You know, so you understand what I'm saying. I understand what you're saying. Now, the, but question, at, at, okay. the question, right? I got mad. I was like, hell Why? no, we should not put my daughter on birth control pills. Why? Because kids are stupid. Once they put her, once I put my child on birth control pills, her boyfriend gonna say, hey, you on the pill, we can take this condom off. Right. Okay. And then what about diseases now? Right. See what I'm saying? You can't, I don't want to give my daughter that much freedom. Little known fact, little known fact, just mm -hmm. sidebar. Did you know that people over 50 spread more sexual diseases than anybody? I can imagine. I you can know imagine. why? Because they want to take the shit off. They want to take the yeah, It ain't even that. When a bitch is over 50, she can't make no more people. Right. So she feel like my pussy can't get pregnant no more. Put that's it in my there. Point. That's First my all, point. I need to Once stop you stop this. the pregnancy, that's when they want to take the condom off. I need to shut off. this down. Go ahead. This, this is the problem with, with men discussing yeah, women. Problem with that yeah. feminist this is the shit. Problem. Here we go with this bullshit. This is the problem. It's not bullshit. This is the problem. First of all, the majority of women, young women, who mm -hmm. get placed on birth control take in their ass. teens. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I just joking. You. Go ahead. Uh, they are doing it to regulate their cycles. It's not for... It's not for bullshit. birth control. It's not bullshit. Well, in this situation it's with not. my child, she it's was not. doing it. My, her, the mother contacted me so my child can do it for uh because she don't want to be a grandmother. That's so you'd rather was... so you'd rather you you rather her what? Not and, and rather, execute well, you, her uh, uh, in a re in, in a perfect world, he would rather his daughter not fuck not at fuck all. Not at all, exactly. But that's not gonna happen. But this is what I'd rather happen. I'd rather her because when I was growing up. The girls I was messing with wasn't on birth control pills. So you know what I had to do? I had to wear a condom, which I thank or God. Or a trash bag. Or a trash bag. Or I had to um, pull out and pray that she ain't had nothing. Yeah. So. <laughs> Stomach so, babies. Exactly. So I will, I will want my daughter to, to fear her father and say, I can't bring any kids home. So my daddy might kill me and might, the kids. Exactly. So let me wear a condom. You can still. There are a lot of benefits to placing women on birth control. Well, my daughter won't see none of those. There are a lot of benefits. That not only not my daughter's only thirteen. I've already told her right now. If you have sex, you need to tell that guy that as soon as you're done, that it's the last time I'm going to ever see you because my father is going to remove me from this earth. Mm hmm. <laughs> I just don't think men should be talking. You guys, you guys are coming at this from a highly emotional state. Are you a mother? State. 
No, I'm uh, not a mother. However, I was on birth control as a teenager, not for sexual reasons. All right, we understand. All right, with that being said, uh, we got to talk about this some more. We'll talk about this some more. Uh, <laughs> we're going to take a break right quick. Uh, 855 369 9898 is the number to call in. Uh, Comedy Corner, uh, Foxhole Radio, Sirius FM, Maranzia Vans, and my fans and my friends. Uh, we'll be back in a minute. I guess you're not. Drinking. Welcome back to the Foxhole Comedy Corner. I'm your host, Maranzio Vans. I'm joined here by Kenyon AC. Uh, the number to call in is 855-369-9898. Please, please call in. want to hear from you. Uh, we got Tony from VA on the line. Tony, what's up, man? What's going on? Two things. That, what's up, uh, Basketball-wise, most of them ain't married anyway. And right. uh, Shanti, they done took more of the rights on that thing than she actually has. And then secondly... You guys got antiquated ideas about that birth control. When you consider that uh, when a young girl ready to get down, she ain't coming to her mom and say, I'm ready to do this and I need birth control. She going to try that experiment first and then go get them pills. That's it right. for exactly. me, doctor. I appreciate, appreciate it, man. That. Thank you for calling in, Tony. Peace yeah. out, PA. Got DJ in Texas. DJ in Texas, what's going on, man? Uh, man, I got, I got this to say, man. We go to school every day for our kids, and we talk about cyberbullying. The basketball right. housewife are bullying every motherfucking time. Is a glass grown, wine yep. grown. Osinko, a fiance, is the most bulliest bitch on earth and worse than Tammy. I yes, mean, we is, go to yes, school, we pay our taxes for this shit, and then our kids got to watch this shit. I mean, it's just it's just disgusting for black women to even be that fuck hoes, fuck bitches, just for black women to be doing shit like that. We even get respected with these earrings. Got all our black women wearing these old ugly ass earrings. Got these vampires, nails. I mean, to the fullest. I mean, we give them cheap hoes rights. DJ, do you think we got a lack of female role models? Of course. I mean, they should be more like. Why, why, why supporting Mich- Michelle Obama or something like mm-hmm. that? I mean, it's like a role model everywhere. You know what I'm saying? True. Because in our new generation, it's not, it's not, mo- it's no role models on both ends. Because nobody, nobody, nobody want to take that step to be a role model. But for, right. for shit like this to be on TV and the more drama it is, they get a next show. I'll be damned. The Tammy gonna have her next show, and then okay. Ocho Cinco and the other bitch gonna have a next show. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to live through that bullshit. Yeah, when they get married and shit, it's going to be some bullshit coming. Thank you, uh, yeah, DJ. It's going to be five years of that shit, just like uh, 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 the motherfuckers of uh, Kardashian. You know, Lamar right. and his bitch. It's right. stupid yeah, shit, man. They can't even play basketball. DJ, do me a favor. DJ, shit. do me a favor. Go home, get your shotgun, and shoot that TV. And uh, thank you for listening to uh, Comedy Corner, man. <laughs> Thanks for calling, DJ. Thank you. Thank All you. right, Eric in Houston, what's going on, pimp? Hey, what's going on, fellas? How you doing, All man? All right. And all the right, lady, right. don't forget the lady, don't forget the how, young lady on here. How rude. Okay, how, how you doing, man? I, right. You know, I, we were just uh, rolling man. around, and the thing about it, I always tell my wife, is it just me or is uh, basketball-wise the only fucking show where the women on there aren't even fucking wives? Right. Those are right. a bunch of jump-offs and, and has been hoes. There's not one woman on there that's got a healthy, actual marriage going on. And, nope. you know, I grew up in Stockton, California, where UOP, where Michael Olova Candy uh, played his ball. And that girl was barely even on his radar. He scored this girl named Cheryl. She was just a jump off that came up later. So, I mean, a lot of them aren't even, not only are not wives, they're not even wives material. Right. <laughs> they, ain't even, they ain't got, they, they, they should call the show not even basketball wifey material. That's what the fuck the show it's should called be called. jump off holes. Yep. <laughs> jump off you know holes. That one was a basketball like, player big. No? It's training camp. Yeah. Training camp. It's training camp. It's training camp. It's training camp to be a, a, a wife, but they not they not exactly. white material. And, and the Thank you for calling in, man. About the, okay. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I just want to say. Okay, I, just real quick. I just want to say the other thing about the birth control and everything. One of the things that uh, one of the things like my my wife, she's teacher, she's teacher of the year down here, and one of the things that we talked about many Salute times that they coming at the kids like oh well, from the. Uh, from the perspective that you don't have to peer pressure. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Uh, girls, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Don't be talking to anything you want to do. Boys don't have to be talking to anything feel peer, peer pressure. That's bullshit. That's, that's bullshit. Unless things have changed since when I was in high school, peer pressure wasn't an issue because we wanted to fuck. Exactly. Right? You know what I'm saying? I still want to. as long as people are coming at it from the angle of you ain't got to do nothing you don't want to do 
you still right. have this problem because kids want to. You're gonna have to come up with a reason for them. Not kids have grown. They grow. They're growing up faster now. It's too much technology in the world for them to be able to hide anything from anybody. So it's just we got we got people got to be better parents. But I, I, th- yeah. I appreciate you for calling in, man, and salute to your wife for being teacher of the year in Houston. That's, That's a tough beautiful. job. All right, man. Uh, Keith in California. Yeah, what's up, man? Uh, I like right. the show. First time caller. I'm listening to this shit. And you, uh, my Thank whole you. issue is, man, growing up, I'm a little older, dude, man. I may not sound like it, but the whole thing is this, man. When I came now home, sound like we had three or four <laughs> channels. You know, right. two, uh-huh. four, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, and UHF. You right. know, and on those channels, you came so home with some cool shit. You know what I mean? And right. it, it, it helped you, you know, say, well, I can't get little Keisha pregnant. You know, with nothing shot these kids these days, you know, at, at yeah. such a, at a young age. Somebody 13 got pregnant, the whole project was on that ass. You know what I mean? Right. Yep, yep, so exactly. I'm like, I'm like, you know, despite of what, uh, you know, so yeah, well, you know, I had a, you know, uh, the other young lady there, I can't think of her name, you know, and I'm not going to really try to get all on, on that too much, but what I'm going to say is this, is that things have definitely changed. She was cut from a different cloth, okay, mm-hmm. to say that, okay, I took the, I took the pills, it's not, uh, you know, wonderful birth control, I was well-rounded. We don't have that balance in family anymore. We no, don't no. have that tradition. So you know what? You make the best of what you have right now, you know, and say for the kids today, they're, right. they're, they're pretty much lost, man. They're lost. So I, Thank you. I, I can't Thank you, man. Children are lost. I feel young on that shit, man. Thank, so, Rick, Thank you, Thank man. you for calling Thank in, man. You. Appreciate Thank that. You. You have some good callers he on did, the show. Oh, good, people was, calling because you know what? I say this, and I'm going to stand by it, mm-hmm. and people going to get mad. I don't give a fuck. Children, this generation of kids right now, they ain't shit. Oh, they ain't shit. The generation They're we lost. have right now, because they lost, lost. they yes. live on social media, yep. network. Yeah. They don't think for themselves because we live in a world full of Twitterers. They but it's everybody not. follow everybody. everybody. But it's That's not what it because is. we have a lack of role models because every single caller that called to complain right. about these things – they were these these are grown men naming names right talking to if you didn't patronize these things they wouldn't have a platform they it wouldn't be what, making yo, money it is these a, grown men know the names of okay. them and and this the society that they live in you got parents watching this stuff in front of their kids That's talking true. about with their kids but there is a lack of role models though because when the last time you pulled a little kid to the side and be like man look, don't do that you it's, should be you shouldn't wear those we can't do that now it's we can't not do a that lack now of role models. Wait, motherfuckers are, they crazy role they, models sh- have platforms and platforms are are endorsed because of money if people stop you know the role models are now the role models are Kim Kardashian that's the role they model because now. people pay them to be people hey, people get mad at it. i went in, i went in the body shop uh-huh. a couple of weeks ago and they would have these little things where they were saying hey you want to donate money to like they gave me three options of shit to donate money to right right one of them was you want to donate money to uh save some kids uh-huh. or save some animals and the woman said you got to pick one of them i said i'm gonna pick the animals she said why would you save the animal before you save the kids mm-hmm. i said because you know what kids grow up to be adults adults hurt the animals so if I don't help the fucking kids, they don't exist. The animals are gonna be okay. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Am I wrong? No, I, I, just, I, I see you. All the reason do, dog, man. dog shelters, man. dog shelters, refuge places that try to save animals. Animals need saving because people ain't shit. Right. That's such a that's such a white man thing see, to but say. I don't give a fuck, fuck about dogs. It, it, it's it a is. Republican thing for me to say. That is such a white man thing for you to say. White man Republican. Save the dogs. I do. You, you probably I like ASPCA shit. commercials, don't you? You I like that it. Sarah McLaughlin music playing. I do. Bullshit, I would save an animal you? before I save a you fucking would. child. Oh no, I don't. Sick. I don't give a damn about no animals. Huh? You make me sick. I do. But I did do some white shit recently. Let me tell you the white shit I did. I I was so scared, but I did some white shit. Paid a bill on time. Man. I'm about to fuck you up with this one. <laughs> <laughs> I got my last child support payment at $984, right? Right. My last child support payment. $984? Yes. How many How many kids? Uh, one. You pay $900 a month? No, I, I missed two months, so the oh. shit doubled. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's really. I'm about to say, where is the clothesline? Where is the clothesline? Where is the I'm like, is your baby in Detroit? <laughs> we got yeah, Yes. Ain't nobody living off $980 a month <laughs> in, in Detroit. Detroit. No. <laughs> but let me happen. tell you down. Let me, let me break it down for you. So $984, right? right? This is what I did. I went and filed my income taxes. Right. And I said I got a daughter who lives don't live with me no more because she's in college. Right. That made it a, what you call it, a child 
text, text $2,500? Yeah. Yes. Yep. So they took my they took my income tax check and paid my child support. Yep. Nick. I was happy as hell. You, that's white people shit. That's white people shit. Right it's, well, you know, it ain't even. Still you know nervous. what? I, I, I'm, let me stop. Let me say. Let me just say the right. It's not white people shit. It's you being responsible it's being shit. Responsible. No, Thank you. you. The there reason you I go. say white people shit is because you use the system to help you to help the system. There it is. That's what I'm trying to say. That's Can't why I say white people shit. You let pay, them fight it out. Yep. Let them fight it out. Why I did pay, you point pay my income tax. No, I'm just pay child support. <laughs> right. All right. Let's go. Next topic. Yeah. Okay. So. So exactly. So these kids nowadays. Everybody's following everybody. No, no, no. We're not doing that first. We're not doing social media? Barack. Oh, we're off social media? Oh, we switched it. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, for those of you who pay attention uh, to politics, politics, Mm -hmm. it's important. It's very important. It's It's vital. extremely important. There was a big announcement made by uh, POTUS himself, President of the United States, Barack Obama, today around 1 p.m., and he said that he endorsed... Same sex um, marriage. Same sex, same sex marriage. Okay. And said that he personally believes, although he was wavering, he said he was evolving, um, that he now believes that same sex couples have the right to marry. Translation I need votes, and I need the gays to get out and vote for me. Right. Uh, right? Um, okay, that's why, that's it was a political it. power play. It was definitely a political power play, but I think. I think that he's he needs another wave to ride in on, right? Because in 2008 he wrote in on the youth on the youth wave. How many people have been killed on Obama's watch? How many people have we like? How many terrorists have we removed from society on Obama's watch? A lot. The main one. Is, 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 a is, lot. And what, the one that counted. Saddam. No, no, no. The bin main, Laden. Bin Laden. We've killed a lot of people. On we killed a lot. I mean, Saddam was with Bush. Barack has had his, himself Saddam a little. Was, well, okay. yeah, Saddam was with Bush. Bush got Saddam. Saddam but, Hussein. Yeah, because no. he, yes, he what did. did he? Remember, he did. He, yeah, Bush got Saddam Hussein because he went back for Saddam after his because his father fucked. I mean, Saddam uh, and, and George, it was Daddy Bush. It was yeah, Daddy, Daddy Bush, Bush yeah. was mad at Saddam, so his son would go get <laughs> Saddam. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. That's but Rock got but Rock got the main one though. Bin Laden, right? Because Saddam wasn't a threat no more, and, and, and we wasted a lot of money to, Sada- to go Sada- after Saddam. So, but, but for the most part, Barack has been on this Call of Duty shit where he's been popping off people. Oh, he's been he left has. Right. He's all on, over the place, point. too. Yeah, he's he been, been killing a lot of people. He's been killing a lot of people. In Venezuela. It's like Grand Theft the Auto. East. It was. So, all over the place. he voted. He, 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 no. he, but people need to understand. I'm about to correct it. Okay. People have to understand, Barack did not say... Anything with legislation no, no or nothing bills. where I'm changing the laws, no. where I'm endorsing However, what same-sex he, marriage. He just said, personally, right. his opinion on it. But you want to know why opinion. that's really powerful? I'm it's super gays. powerful, almost more powerful than proposing legislation because the people don't really vote on the legislation anyway unless it gets passed by representatives. The right. reason why what he did was so powerful is because in this age of social media um, where everybody is dying to follow somebody – uh, we engage in personality worship, and right. we flock to figureheads that uh, give out a little bit of their personality and their personal beliefs. So right. it it humanized him. It humanized him. He's not just the president of the United States. He now has an opinion, and he. I call it. bullshit though. But I don't. I call bullshit. Oh, oh, it's, oh it's he such did a it. he did it's such oh. a we- it's such a West Wing thing. <laughs> it's such a fucking West Wing. Let me get some votes. But, but it is. You're a Republican? It, it, Listen, Where politics is a, a game, a, honey. You know what? Politics is you ready? a game. You ready for this? Uh-huh. I ain't shit. He's, I can I'm it. not Democratic. Yeah. I'm or not Repu- fucking Republican. I, am I? You know why? I don't Because I don't trust the system. Exactly. I don't trust politicians. It's it's I don't game. trust our it's government. That's what because I'm at the end of the day, it, revol- it revolves around money. It's all about Nothing money. Nothing will get accomplished unless money is involved. It's all money. Let me tell you why America ain't shit. You ready for this? Oh, I got a list. You ready for this? I got a list. You ready? This is why America ain't shit. New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Still fucked up. Yeah, still. Right? Planned. Still fu- planned, planned and fucked up. Planned to be but, fucked up. But we can't get it restored and back up and going because we need money. Right. My 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 thing to that is when those people in China, that tsunami, that shit happened in China, America was the first ones to hop in a plane off of water and nets and food and Pick everything. And China was like, no, nah, we good. We got it over here. America did the same thing during during Katrina. FEMA did the same thing. To help them. No, FEMA, no, FEMA th- fucked FEMA, up. FEMA pushed away foreign aid. We had all kinds of countries trying to help. But my thing to that is, New Orleans would have got help had it been in China. That's Yeah, exactly. If we had to pick up New Orleans been, and put it in China, oh, man. they would have helped it. They had all types of rights. You have to look at the administration that was in charge during that time. Things are completely that different Bush. now. Okay, but, it's but, the government, same, though. but at the same time, America offered to help China because we owe China half of America. 
Oh, 17, yeah. They own 17% of our economy. 17% of our economy and is owned by China. only 7% of our economy China. is actual well, they uh, had to, then they had to paper money. Okay, we got a caller calling in. We got Alicia Power. calling from Dallas. What's up, Alicia? Uh, hello? Hello? Hey, Alicia, you calling in the Comedy Corner? I sure did. Um, I have to actually bypass the conversation y'all are talking about now because I got a little upset. Um, this is the first time that I've called. Um, I've never actually never called a radio station, so this is my first, so it's big. Um, mm -hmm. I'm a little, let's say, overwhelmed on the issue about the birth control. I have to agree with her because not everybody is using that birth control for the reason you, of not, have, not having sex. Mm -hmm. um, I, I've been using it probably half of my life. I'm 27 now. Um, it's not to cover trying not to get pregnant. It's just trying to get your cycle in order. When your cycle okay. goes three, four, five months by itself, nonstop, mm -hmm. you I get a little girl. overwhelmed. Yep. Alicia, right? I tried to tell these uh -huh. women this. Alicia, I understand. Quick. I understand. So, I have, it's I, so important. I have sisters, been, so I right, understand. So, since you've been on birth control, without getting into your business too much, do, no, you, feel, not a problem. do you feel that you have um, less, I mean, more unprotected sex now? It wouldn't matter either one. I'm married now. Um, I've been with the same person for like nine years. But okay, it's, so before, it gets to the point that, where it ruins relationships. It ruins a lot of stuff. And you think that birth control helps? It doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't do help. anything, to be honest. You're using it because you would like your life back. You, you know, right. it gets to the point where you're okay. scared to go to water. You're scared you know to go well, swimming. You're scared I'm a father to do a and, lot of things. And I don't matter if my daughter's on her period for three months straight. I'm you know what? I can't even. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. You I do not. Alicia. You two things. You so Alicia, Alicia thank you. I do not, thank you so I, I do not for... condone what AC just said. If thank I was you. a man I and my nose bled for three months, thank you. you I'm gonna take a pill. Exactly. You're supposed to be on your period. Get out of here. Your nose don't supposed to bleed. Get like out of here. Yeah. You'll, you'll, take your take like... you'll take a nosebleed every day than being off for three months or being off for six months and being off but before six you, months. But my question to you, Alicia, I don't mind spotting. Yeah, but you know what? Would you like? Let me ask you this question. Would you like? Would you like your daughter to have kids? Hell no. No, right. Uh -uh. Hell no. Okay, now do you do plan? Do you plan on having your daughter have kids like somewhere in her twenties, her thirties, maybe her forties? Hey, well, what I've been doing, I've been feeding. I've been, I've been, I've been putting antifreeze in her cereal since she was three. You are so I'm hoping <laughs> it has no, killed no, any uh, chance. Uh, Alicia, <laughs> she's before I forget about this question, she's, I want to ask to, you. She's trying to make a point. Let her make a point. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Alicia. Let her make a point. Well, my whole point is that if you're looking forward to her having kids. You know, in her due time, that's fine. I mean, you know, you try to control right. it that way. But yeah. at this point in time, you know, what I've been told basically, it's going to take me 10 times harder for me to have kids versus somebody else just due to the fact that my cycle is irregular. And just well, because you know of what? that, I have to take a birth control pill. That's what you do. Absolutely. If you're trying to figure out, if you're trying to have kids and you can't mm -hmm. because of birth control, change your last name to something Mexican. And then you pop out. out. You'd pop out on his own. <laughs> you have a kid. Alicia, out thank, out you so thank you so much for calling. Thank you, Alicia, for calling in. I uh, appreciate you for calling in the show. Thank you, Alicia. Uh, we're about to take a break right now. You've been listening to uh, the Comedy Corner on Foxhole Radio, uh, Sirius FM. Call in is 855-369-9898. Once again, that number is 855-369-9898. Maranzio Vans, Kenya AC. We're trying to, have a, uh, trying to get y'all people involved. Stick around. Welcome back to Foxhole Radio, uh, Sirius XM 98, uh, Comedy Corner, Maranzio Van, uh, Kenya, AC. AC. Touching on What's some topics, up? uh, people please call in 38, I mean, oh shit, uh, 855-369-9898. That number again is 855-369-9898. Uh, we have pretty much touched on, uh, birth control and basketball hoes. And uh, same-sex marriage, Obama coming out. We're gonna have to work on your feminist lingo. There's no. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need. I you call. To hose, I'm gonna see hoes are hoes. There's no correct name for hoes. Listen. All right. We got callers. No, we got callers. Okay. Well. Uh, okay. Well, we'll tag on to the the Barack thing until we switch subject. Okay. Great. The so North Carolina. Okay, we got David. And okay. Oh. The Oklahoma? Uh, Oklahoma. David, oh, Oklahoma. Middle America, what's up? Middle America. What's going on, man? Hey, hey I wanted sir, to man. say, hey, this is going to be something deep right here. Uh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Why, why, the, why, why the TV TV is what it is. And you got all those reality shows. See, what it is is they're training the kids now. You know what I mean? They're, mm -hmm. they're, they're taking them away from the family. Like, it used to be, you know, like you said, you had the Cosby shows and good times and all. It was more about the family then. But now right. what it is is, 
is uh, the, the the elite is is showing the kids that this is this is what you want. This is what you want to be. Like you see the videos and the guys and the women. This is what you need to look like to get a guy, and this is what you need to drive to get this woman. You know what I mean? That's right. what they're showing these kids nowadays. That's what's going I on. I blame Puffy. I mean, what is it? What you say? I blame Puff Daddy. But go ahead. Nah, but man, on the real though, that's 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 the real that's the real deal. What's going on, man? This has been a plan for years, years and years, man. All the way so what you're talking about to, uh, is is like you know individual what? individual you know perpetuation of uh, you're, you're conspiracy theorists, aren't you? What is, what is his name? David? And hello. David, Dave, are, you, are you a conspiracy, conspiracy theorist? theorist? And as far as Obama, you know what I'm saying? He got, <laughs> he got Gaddafi and, uh, and uh, Awalaki, too. But you know That's what right, I mean? right. That's what it was. Thank Gaddafi, uh, yeah. All right. Put him yeah. in office to get, to get Africa. But, you know, it's... You know what? Sorry. Oh, 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 so sorry. Dave. car dropped. Sorry, yeah, okay. Just like a conspiracy theorist, right. too. Just magical. No, but you know what? You got a point. Oh, we got another call? Yeah, we got another call. Bruce caller from Texas. What's going on, Bruce? What's going on, Foxo? How What's you doing, man? Hi, Bruce. I'm doing real good. I, I just want to ask y'all a question. Have y'all noticed all of these politicians saying that we have to get our country back? Who who they want to get the country back from is what I want exactly. to know. Exactly. Don't nobody got the country. We the ones who... America fucks itself every time they wake up in the morning. You know, they are... Oh, I'm so sorry. It, uh, Bruce. Bruce. Bruce, I'm so sorry, Bruce. You know, you're from Texas. It's your state who's who's all trying to secede and get the country uh, back. I, I know these rednecks down here. They don't it like is. no part of the, our president being. <laughs> that was written today. into your constitution. Texas has been trying to secede from the United States for years. Texas is big enough to be his own country, though. No bullshit. Well, that's true too. But trust me, I know these rednecks down here don't want no part of the, uh, black president. And like oh, I yeah, said, every it. time you hear one of them speak, the first thing they say is, we got to get our country back. So what are they saying? From what they're really saying is, we don't want this nigga as our president. There you go. That's, that's what I'm talking about right there. All right. That's Appreciate it. it. Thank you for calling in, Thank uh, you. Bruce. All right. So, so I'll tell you one thing, though. What? As much as America hates having a black president, I bet you they'll vote black before they vote Mormon. I'll tell you what. America, I'll bet you that. America at the end of the day, <laughs> bet you, you can call Obama whatever you want. They will you clean. will not elect Mitt Romney as your president. They will cling to their religion. You will cling to your religion at Bef- the end of the day mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. And they did a study. They mm-hmm. said have the South, people in the South still believe, certain areas of the South still believe that Obama is a Muslim. Right. Nothing wrong with Obama being a fucking Muslim. Nothing Even if that. he was a Muslim, check this out. If if Obama was a Muslim, I would probably sleep better now. You know why? Because I know we got security. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> if right. you take religion, if you was a breakdown religion, if I had to have Muslims on my team, I know I got security. If I want advertisement done, I'm getting Jehovah Witness because they don't mind passing out fucking flyers. Seven in the morning. They huh? knock on your door. At your door. Mm-hmm. You got a club that's going to open up oh, at 12 tonight. Jehovah Witnesses. Get the Jehovah Witness on team. They're going to kill your grass, but you're going to promote the motherfucking they gonna promote show. It. And what is the Mormon going to do? Give you good mm-hmm. dreams? Give you Mormons give <laughs> dreams. Give you good dreams? Well, one that's thing about Mormons, though, that I, I realize is they can have more than one wife. They can. They can. But you can have Mormon. anything you want in a religion that don't exist. Mormonism is not a real religion. You know right. what I thought Mormonism was? What? I thought it was something for homosexuals. More <laughs> men. More men. Huh? More <laughs> men. Huh? No. Take, no. More. No. Mormon. Mormon. More men. Take the second M out and you got moron. Moron. There you go. So explain. Mormonism came about when? 18 what? In the, 18, the late in 1800s. 18, yeah. Any religion that was made. <laughs> During the time the that my, any of my relatives was around to right, see it, right. that shit don't exist. Late 1800s? Huh? Come on, man. They were setting the slaves free and had to have something else to plate. believe in, so they d- decided to have dreams this about nigga, golden, this, golden... The dude's name is Joseph Smith. Smith. Yes. He came up with Mormonism. He was sitting around. He had a dream. He was the first Martin Luther King. Ta- about golden tablets. <laughs> he was a golden, golden tablet. Golden tablet. This might be worse than Scientology. Even mm. though Scientology mm. didn't come along until 1952... 1952, Scientology came along. I didn't even know that. Thank you. Yes. L. Ron Herbert was a fucking uh, science fiction writer. He wrote movies about, he wrote books about space and aliens and shit. And then he one day he was like, you know what? He started his religion. I'm going to just start my own religion. I think, <laughs> you think I can get people to believe that a spaceship going to come get them? Oh. And they were like, fuck yeah, do it, bitch. And he went out and built a castle in the middle of fucking Hollywood. Mm-hmm. 
Is that what all the new age religions do? Build castles? Because yeah, Mormons build, got castles too. Mormon has a fucking, uh, they got the Fortress of Solitude down there <laughs> in San Diego. It's you true. pass that shit when you go in to San Diego. Oh, that big white one? That big that white is, building. That that's a Mormon, Mormon building. Temple. That Clean is a Mormon as temple. a motherfucker. That bitch look good. Look, from the make you, nigga. Dog. I'm waiting on Superman to fly out, yeah, like, that, go that fight some crime. Beautiful. So, America, as much as you're a hip, you care more about religion than you do race. It's true. You do. At the end of the day, you're going to go true. with religion, then you will raise. Yeah, that's true. Mitt Romney, being a Mormon, America ain't going for hey, that. Hey, America ain't going it's for that. It's not going to happen. You can't vote for a guy who believes in a religion that don't exist. Yeah, you can't do that. Huh? If no. you don't have a God, or if your God But they stay trying exist, to say that they're Christian. Have y'all heard that? They try to say that they're Christian. Yeah. You know who else is a Mormon? Mormon? You know who's a Mormon? Who is this? Gladys Knight Gladys is a Mormon. Gladys Knight. Gladys Knight? This if that ain't motherfucker is a Mormon. And guess what? You ready? Until 1979. Mormon said black people wasn't allowed to go to heaven. Yep. That's what Mormon we said. We were damned to hell we in were the book hell. of Mormon. In the so book of Mormon, black people wasn't damned even allowed to, to go to hell. So anybody mm. died mm. before mm. 1979, they mm. burning right now. Damn, that's messed up. If you're up. a Mormon and you're black, mm -hmm. you didn't make it to heaven. Because I had a cousin who died before I met him in 79, and he, I ain't going to see him in heaven. You No, because it was a Mormon? He, he was, he was, no, he wasn't a Mormon, but because he, of the Mormons, I ain't going to see him when I get to heaven. Probably. Man, that's messed that's up. That's fucked up. So mm. anybody that died before 79? Anybody black that yeah, died. Yeah, yeah. We're not going to see them. They're not there. Damn. We're not going to see them. So that's why he running against Barack. He think Barack is the devil. Pro Pretty much. Probably we'll go along with that. It's probably the scariest, we'll probably go along the scariest thing to him in the world is yeah. a black man with power. It is. Oh, my goodness. That is, and it, he, it's, a, it's a matter of time. Because like the dude Bruce said in Texas, mm -hmm. everybody said we got to get our country back. But what they're really saying is anybody but this nigga that's running the country. <laughs> anybody right but. Anybody but. You know what? You know, it's funny when I hear people say America is the best country on earth. It's so funny. And then they ain't never been nowhere. They haven't what was traveled. That bumper, what was that bumper sticker that came out? What was that they bumper sticker? Traveled. Oh, don't renege. Don't renege. There's a bit. bumper sticker going mm. around mm. that says oh. don't renege. Pretty much don't reelect a nigga. I wish I would. In this country. You know how racist America has gotten since Obama became president? Oh, it's, you know what? You know what's so funny? The racism has never stopped. They just try to cover it up a little bit. Well, well when it's Obama became polarized. president, when Obama became president, all these white people were like, yay, we're Obama president. We even now. No, we're no, not even. Not at all. I'm, I'm, you know what? It's cool, but it, I'm not, we're not even. We're not on the same ground. You know what I'm saying? Letting Jackie Robinson in to the uh, baseball did not make us even for no. y'all hanging up some trees. We know, we know Making we Barack even. president of the United States does not make us even on the same ground. No. And no. the fact that they actually put renege out. Let me tell you how fucked up America is. Base, uh, they had a uh, basketball game in, in Texas, San Antonio, Texas. Uh-huh. The white kids were chanting USA because they were playing against a Mexican team. Oh, that's fucked up. They were yelling, chanting USA, USA, that's while against up. the Mexican team. Yeah. This, oh, right? So that's yeah, what's going I, on. We're going to take a quick break. Anybody want to call in before we get up out of here? Uh, the number is 855-369-9898. 855-369-9898. You're calling uh, Sirius. Radio, uh, Comedy Corner, Maranzia Vance, Kenya, AC, uh, XM 98. Welcome back to, uh, Comedy Corner, uh, the Foxhole Series, XM 98. Uh, Maranzia Vance, joined by Kenya and AC. Want to thank everybody for tuning in this week. Uh, we appreciate it. If you enjoyed us, please call the radio station or email and say, hey, have those three black people back that was talking about something of substance. Huh? Mm. There we go. That yes. was a jab. I think I'm fucking, I don't give a fuck. Uh -oh. I get, said you know, it. I can tell you don't care. I don't give a well, shit. You don't care. And I'm looking I'm, at your I'm, face. I've listened tell. in before and I've just heard a whole bunch of comments talk about absolutely not a Nothing. goddamn thing. <laughs> You Nothing. Oh, no running, fucks. running, bitch. I, I don't have a fuck to give. It's so a, I, it's a time before you got to ration your fucks right. around you. So, mm. with that being go. said, uh, Foxhole, uh, get your tickets now and join the Foxhole in Aruba at the 12th annual Soul Beach Aruba. Music Festival, May 23rd through the 28th, 2012 Memorial Day weekend. The Foxhole 98 will be broadcasting live from the Radisson and Aruba Resort Casino and Spa. I will not be there. Uh, live performances from R. Kelly. What's up, Pistol? Uh, LL Cool J, Tony Roberts, Lettucey, Aries Spears, uh, Melanie Fiona, and more. Keep it on Foxhole 98 and see how you can win a trip to the Soul Beach Music Festival on the Foxhole. That's right. All I'm right. looking for it. R. Kelly going to be there. R. Kelly going to be there. Oh, LL oh. Cool J going oh, to have man. some CarMax on, on deck for him. He's going to be licking hey. the hell out of his lips. Uh, got Lettucey coming. 
Tony Robbins is funny. Oh, he's funny. Melanie Andy Fiona. Andy from Detroit. Andy from Detroit. I don't have nothing else to say about nobody else. All right. <laughs> With that being said, uh, I want to thank y'all. Uh, my name is Maranzia Vance. If you want to catch me, uh, I'll be at the Hollywood Improv uh, on Melrose, uh, 8 o'clock uh, this Friday, May 11th. I'm also going to be in uh, Pleasanton at Tommy T's June 28th through July 1st. If you want to come check that out, I'll be in New York, 4th of July weekend at Gotham. Uh, I'm on Twitter at Maranzi Advance. I have a podcast called Just Killing Time with Maranzi Advance. You can check that out. I do that every Monday. I'm going to throw, throw it over to Kenya so she can tell you what she got going on so we can get the fuck up out. <laughs> All right. Uh, my name is Kenya Parham. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at K Parham um, or uh on Facebook, but I, I guess I need. I want to keep my Facebook. Kind of yeah, just, just just say Twitter. Yeah, so Twitter. Yeah. Find me on Twitter. Talk to me. I talk about politics, social issues, and She's I write. Smart. <laughs> she is smart. Woman of substance. Woman of substance. And mm. I am. She is a not writer. a basketball wife. No. And I'm a writer <laughs> and editor for Forward Nation. FWDNation.com. That's right. AC, tell them what you're doing. <laughs> my name is AC. You can follow me on Twitter and Facebook. AC the comedian. I got a lot of shows coming up, and I'll let you know information on there. And also. Uh, in the beginning of the show, I said I was a director and a writer. I got a film coming out called The Soul Agency. It's a comedy version of The Devil's Advocate. All right. And uh, we black, so it's going straight to DVD. Good. And, and uh, <laughs> Find that shit at a wash machine, at a uh, car wash or a barbershop. Right. So, we, you know, I got a couple of things I'm working on right now. Um, another, AC, that's great. We're going to wrap this up. That's ain't bullshit. That a bitch. Anyway, anyway, ain't that's that shit. A bitch. Thank y'all so much for tuning in thank once you. again. Uh, the Foxhole Serious XM. I want to thank you to Marcus King. Thank uh, you. I appreciate All it. For right. taking a chance on the black man. I want to thank my man. L- Landon, Landon, Landon for being on shotgun the on, the, on the switchboard, handling holding thing, taking the call, holding it down. Ass diamonds once, all through his watch. Yeah, Ice is. just dripping. Once just, again, mm. thank y'all for uh, calling in. Email me or text me or whatever. Not t- you don't have my fucking number. <laughs> text him. But, uh, really? Hit me on Twitter so we can try to get us back on AC here. the Comedian. Holla well, at me. All right. Comedy. <laughs>